this presentation we have talked about uh, interaction picture we know that in scrolling representation state vectors are time dependent whereas operators are time independent in isomorphic representation operators are time dependent whereas state vectors are time independent in the interaction picture both operators and the state vectors are time dependent in the interaction picture both operators and state vectors are time dependent Suppose the Hamiltonian is separated into two components, H0 plus H1, or H0 is our ground state Hamiltonian, H1 is the disturbed Hamiltonian or perturbed Hamiltonian. At that moment, we can use our interaction picture. If you apply magnetic field to a system or electric field to a system, the total Hamiltonian is split into many compartments. At that moment, we may apply our interaction picture. That's what we can write. We can use the interaction picture. We can use interaction picture if the Hamiltonian. is separated Hamiltonian is separated into two components say the ground state Hamiltonian H0 and perturbed Hamiltonian H1. Here perturbed means disturbed Hamiltonian H1. Only under the state you may apply an interaction picture. You know the Schrodinger equation IH cross cos is by do t equal to hs sin s so this is equation 1 now we may introduce a state vector in the interaction picture psi interaction and is arrived by operating the unit transformation operator u of t on psi s suppose the value of u of t is e power i h0 by h cross into t and is allowed to operate on psi s we can get psi interaction the value of unitary transformation operator is e power i h0 by h cross into t now psi s equal to if you bring this term to the left hand side this is e power minus i h0 by h cross into t into psi interaction this is the value of psi s. Now in equation 1, replace hs by h0 plus h1 and psi s by e power minus i h0 by h cross into t into psi interaction. Replace Hs by H0 plus H1 and uh, psi s by the stop. We can get IH cross rho by rho t of 
e power minus i h0 by h cross into t psi n fraction h0 plus h1 instead of hs we have to write h0 plus h1 and the value of psi s is this much e power minus i h0 by h cross into t into psi n fraction say this is equation number Two. Oh, uh, expand equation two. We have differentiate this two terms. This is u. This is v. I have cross domain of of u. If you differentiate this term, e power minus i h zero by h cross into t into minus i h is 0 by h cross. This is the differentiation of this term. I don't this term as such. Psi interaction plus I don't this term as such. e power minus i h is 0 by h cross into t. Then differentiate this term. Do psi interaction by rho t which is equal to h is 0 plus H1 anti is multiplied by e power minus i h0 by h cross into t psi interaction. Now simply like this multiply with the help of i h cross i and i square minus 1 minus and minus plus h cross h cross cancelled out. So h0 e power minus i h0 by h cross into t psi interaction is the first term. Multiply by ih cross. Then the second term is plus ih cross e power minus i h0 by h cross into t dou psi interaction by dou t. This is equal to h0 e power minus i h0 by h cross into t psi interaction plus h41 e power minus i h0 by h cross into t into psi interaction. Just say we are separated into two terms. See h0 e power minus i h0 by h cross into psi interaction. Here also the same term is present. If you bring this term to the right hand side, these two terms are cancelled out. Therefore, i h cross e power minus i h0 by h cross into t dou psi interaction by rho t which is equal to h power 1 e power minus i h0 by h cross into t into psi interaction. From this we may write i h cross dou psi interaction by rho t which is equal to shift this term e power minus i h0 by h cross into t to the right hand side this is modified as e power i h0 by h cross into t h power 1 e power minus i h0 by h cross into t psi interaction this is equation number 3 see here if you shift this e power minus i h0 by h cross into t to the right hand side, this term is modified as e power plus i h0 by h cross into t. Then, as such, we have written the rest of the terms h power 1 e power minus i h0 by h cross into t psi interaction. From this equation 3, here psi interaction is the state of part. Dou by dou t of psi interaction is e power i h0 by h cross into t h power 1 e power minus i h0 by h cross into t psi interaction. So the time dependency is seen in this equation 3. Hence we may say state of cars in interaction representation are time dependent. From equation 3 it is clear that state of cars in the interaction picture are 
time dependent in the same manner we have to prove the operators in the interaction picture are also time dependent for that introduce an operator a interaction that is e power i h0 by h cross into t a s d e power minus i h0 by h cross into t this is a way of finding an operator in interaction representation if you want to write the equation of motion d by dt of a interaction equal to 1 divided by i h cross into a interaction comma h interaction plus do a interaction by do t this is the equation of motion in interaction picture suppose the term do a interaction by do t is approaching zero at a particular stage that is a repeated operation and this is modified as d by dt of a interaction equal to 1 divided by i h cross into a interaction comma h interaction from this we may write i h cross d by d t of a interaction equal to a interaction comma h interaction so this is equation 4 from equation 4 it is clear that operators operators in the interaction picture are time dependent because these two are not subject for commutation therefore the operator in interaction representation is time dependent if you replace this a interaction by h interaction it is hamiltonian at that moment we make it that operator is a constant otherwise an operator in interaction representation is time dependent so in this way we may say the state of torf and operators are time dependent in the interaction representation thank you